Hello and welcome back to the Sicilian Defence. Apologies for not uh, putting this one out for a couple of weeks. Um, there's lots of things going on in life in general at the moment, um, which has caused a little bit of a, a hiccup, as it were, and uh, we need to get back on track. I've also noticed that uh, there's not a lot of people watching this particular video, so we are going to curtail this one with FM22 coming down the tracks pretty fast now, just a month or so away. Uh, we are going to run to the end of this uh, Saria A season, unless something miraculous happens, and then uh, we will curtail it. I may still play it until FM22 comes out, and I may do another episode, which is a bit of a resume of what went on in the season that follows this one. But uh, we are going to stop it at the end of this current season as it currently stands, unless all of a sudden we get a lot of people watching it, which we're not at the moment. So um, I'm not quite sure why that is, but uh, maybe the interest isn't there for, for this particular series. If there is and you want to leave a comment, please leave a comment down below. Uh, and don't forget to give me that thumbs up, follow me and all the rest of it. Uh, and subscribe it all helps the old um logarithms here in youtube without any more to do welcome to the sicilian defense and uh hopefully today we can get back on winning ways fingers crossed <laughs> Welcome to episode 35 of the Sicilian Defence. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, I have two Serie A games. Uh, first of all, against Parma at home, and then against Lazio away from home. And as you will see, we continue our bad form in some form or other. I don't think we've won in Serie A since uh, Crotone, way back in October. And we are now currently uh, in January in the transfer window, etc., etc. But uh, yeah. Um, not having a good time of it at all um, and uh, as you'll see since you last with us at Atalanta and Sassuolo um, where we lost both games um, didn't score anything uh, we did manage a 1-1 draw against Bologna but then lost 3-1 to Florentina um, so our, uh, our drab really disconcerting form continues in fact I think we've only won two games in Saria A eh? Spezia and Crotone, that's the only two games we won in Serie A all season. And uh, relegation is beckoning uh, very fast now uh, if we don't get the sack in the meantime. And it does say we're reasonably secure, but uh, hey-ho. Um, right. Obviously somebody after Stepovic, which we've uh, managed to uh, get away. Um, we have brought somebody in, um, needless to say. Um, in fact, we brought two players in. Um, maybe we haven't covered this. Um, Pecorino is back from Sassulio. Um, he's back 900,000, uh, going up to 1.3 million. He's back in to uh, uh, come back to us after selling him oh, a couple of seasons back now. Let's have a look, see if we can find him. Uh, Pecorino, there he goes. Went for 375,000, so a bad deal that. Um, cost us more to bring him back than it has... Uh, to let him go but hey ho hopefully he's learned his trade out there and will come in and Marcus uh, Brasiliga um, a free transfer he is a striker as well so we're, we're abundance of strikers at the moment Emmanuel Pecorino um, hopefully between the pair of them they can do something uh, Danny Garcia was last player out so nobody leaving us at this current stage of the transfer window let's go back to that um, and uh a quick look at the table it sort of makes miserable reading we're 66 points adrift now of Cagliari who are in 17th place and uh, as that gap starts to open we're in more and more trouble Palmer are just above us today so uh, this is a bottom of the table um, six pointer really uh, we lose today that gap has opened up and we are in even more trouble so um, we really do need that win if we can today i think that's pretty much a roundup of what's happening uh without any more to do let's get on with the games in hand first game against palmer and this is the team we're putting out against palmer it's manelli in goal 
Um, I'm not quite sure why De Favreau has actually dropped out of the thing. He's actually... Uh, Manelli has played a couple of games now. Let's put De Favreau back in there. I'm, I'm tempted to. De Favreau in goal. Best day. Bax Vanos, Carante and Pavlev are our back line. Carante's in for somebody or other. And I, we haven't played this for a short while and I'm, I'm at a loss to think who's dropped out. Somebody's injured, I think. Um, but anyway, Carante in there. Pavlev. And then Bertoganoli and Ladanetti are a midfield with Stepovic, uh, Sabri and Ambrose are attacking midfield. Rov Gallier up front. Minelli, Zappella, Meta, Pocarino, Kalpai, Giorgi, Magazu, Albertini, Amaso, Nasty, Visconti and Rizzo all on the bench. I have a little bit of a worry that our new players aren't appearing and it may be because we haven't registered them. I leave it with me. Just one second. I'm going to pause. I will come back and see if um, if we can sort out what the problem is here. And, uh, well, we've had a little bit of a play with it. And we have actually got a little bit of a change to the bench. Basaliga um, has... Uh, he wasn't registered, so we've registered him. Uh, Pecorino doesn't need to be registered. And he's actually there. I don't know if I've read him out just now, but he's on there now. So we'll go through this again. Uh, certainly the bench. The rest of the team stays the same. Manelli, Zappella, Meta, Pecorino, uh, Magazu, Nasty, Albertini, Amaso, Basiliga... Uh, Visconti and Giorgi I think that has changed somewhat so uh, that is the bench um, let's get on and see if we can turn this in Ruff Gallier it hasn't been having a good time and uh, right Basiliga needs a number he's going to be number 43 and uh as I say, we've got a lot to do. Oh, sorry, been doing a bit of editing in between uh, recording. So, hence the noise. Uh, right, Pompfist, get out there and show the world what you've got, what it takes. That's motivated everybody pretty much. Um, I'm just going to Pompfist, faith in De Favreau. Uh, Sunday's match, CC Cup against Palmer's newly appointed manager ahead of the match. Um, Tough time. Are you hopeful a change in playing style will result in a change of fortunes? Um, we've made the change for several reasons. Hopefully they'll become clear. If we need to change. We need to get to be harder to play against. Uh, if our form doesn't improve, then the consequences could be catastrophic. I think that is it. Yeah, that doesn't make good reading, does it? Four losses, one draw in the last five. Palmer have won one in the last five, lost three and drawn one. Slightly better than us. They're playing like a... Um, Almost like a pyramid formation. Interesting. So here's hoping for a better time out there as we get underway. And they have a throw in and uh, ball in. De Favreau clutches that one. Long ball forward, but it's cut out. And maybe those long balls forward aren't the right. Oh, no, 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 no. Six minutes, seven minutes on the clock. And a mistake by, and I don't know who it was. I will check in a moment. Let them in. Lovely through ball. And it's Bax Vanos who didn't make that. He made that, uh, if he actually made that block. But as it was, it got through to Cornelius and he wasn't going to mess there. He was in, had plenty of time and puts it away. We're a goal behind after those seven minutes. And Stepovic picked up a little bit of an injury. We're going to ignore that because I think he can play through with it. Right, drop of encouragement. Come on, team. You can do this. You need to turn it around. Ladonetti picking up a yellow card. Having the better of this first half, but not turning it into anything.
trying to jam along here. We're still in this. We can turn it around. Pavlov to Ambrose. Ambrose wins it, crosses it to Berta Ganoli. Backs Vanos, best day. Stepovic, who looks as if he has got an injury. Best day. Best day. Gonna hold this ball up to Bax Vanos. Bax Vanos has lost the ball. And he's got around here. Carante has picked up a yellow card now as well. They've crossed that deep. And they're finding a way through. And I think that's a goal kick. It's wide of the uh, the post. Right. Encourage them again. We just really need that concentration, that little bit of oomph. They have a throw in and it's blocked and doing a good job there. And best day cuts that out, but nobody there to pick it up. Come on, lads. Come on. Best day can cut that out to De Favreau. Carante. Back to De Favreau. Out to best day. Ford now. Stepovic. Stepovic. Back to Bax Vanos. Best day. Not finding a way through here. That's a long ball, but it's cut out, and they are dangerous when it's... Luckily, that's gone wide. And half-time has arrived. We're only a goal down. Uh, we'll take a little bit of... Cons cause, um, solace in that. Nine shots, seven on target. Better uh, team in the first half. 64% possession. 0.83 against their 4-2. 0.56 and 36% possession. Come on, boys, you can do this. Let's turn it around. Let's have a win here. Um, that's the way I want to do it. Back for the second half in just a moment. And as you come back for the second half, Rav Galia getting us underway. Back to Berta Ganoli. Bax Vanos to best day. Back to Bax Vanos. Best day. Gets the ball through. Rav Galia. Oh, that was unlucky. And it's gone out. I think Ambrose took it out, which was a bit of a worry. Come on, lads. Come on. You can do this. Bit of encouragement. Come on. 60 minutes gone. Still having the best of the game, but Palmer, not. Uh, we're not having our, our way here at all. Right. Is it time to make some changes? Sabri not having a great game. Ambrose not having a great game. Let's have a look. See what we can do changes-wise. Um, right. Sabri. We can bring Magazoo on for him. Stepovic is injured. So we could bring Amaso on for him. Right, I'm thinking at the minute, undo that. Stepovic we do need to change, and we'll bring Amaso on for him over that side. I'm tempted to take Rav Galier off, because he's frustrated, and bring Bas Pecorino on. Let's put Pecorino in there. What's Pecorino's best position? As a pressing forward, maybe... Let's put him as a pressing forward. Um, we'll leave it as that for the minute. Right. Pump fists, make a difference. Come on, boys. You can do this. Pavlov with the throw in to Ladonetti. Ladonetti to Amaso, who's already got a yellow card. Sabri finds Pecorino. Can he score on his debut? No. Pavlov picks the ball up, crosses it across field to Best Day. Best Day finds Amaso, who's been tackled on the edge of the area, and the referee has given a yellow, a red card. And nothing came of that, obviously. Right, maybe it's now. Ambrose is not good on that right-hand side. So do we bring Basiliga on for Ambrose? And I'm thinking also, at this point, I can't take any more. I'm done. 
Aren't I? Yes, Megazoo, it won't let me do. Do I undo that last one? And who's... Ambrose just having a poor game altogether there. Right. Vasiliga, who's very nervous. We don't know what about. Uh, let that run for a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fire them up. This is annoying because we have been the better team here and we're not going to get anything out of it. They've shut the door and uh, a 1-0 loss against Palmer. And that's opened a bit of a gap up at the bottom. Lots of uh, yellow cards and uh, obviously a red as well. But we didn't uh, maximise that. As it turned out, 15 shots, 10 on target, 1.66, 61% possession. Seven shots on target, four, sorry, seven shots, four on target for them, 0.72, 39% uh, of the possession. It was for the taking and we didn't do it. Um, I think we're going to go with... That one just to try and G him up a little bit. Give best a a outstretched arms. Happy with your performance. Maso Pecorino. Good effort. And we'll stick with that. Uh, your side dominated the ball today, 61% possession, but so I find yourself on the losing side. Just how did that happen? This is what happens when you don't take your chances. That is pretty much it. Yet again, you have failed to win considering your past thoughts uh, on the winless run. What effort uh, do you envisage having to take now? I can see the players desperately want to win. They work harder and harder until they get it. And there we are, 13 points adrift of Crotone on the bottom. Crotone have a game in hand, so that's not looking particularly good either um, twelve without a win and it's not looking good Stepovich is only going to be out for a couple of days he's got a, a bit of a calf strain and of course still in the transfer window um, I'm going to send me assistance to that um, right, I think with that, we will be back for the game against Lazio, which is our next game, uh, and see if we can have a win in this particular episode. We'll see. I'm not confident. They are second. <laughs> Very unconfident, but who knows? And you come back, and FM has got this inane knack when you're in trouble... It kicks you in the teeth. So we've got a number of injuries. We've got two suspensions in uh, central defence. All sorts going on. Um, and we've ended up uh, with Best Day. He's out. He's injured. Um, well, I've got a virus, I think. Um, so it's just, just, just not looking good, really. Um, all in all. Um, right. So this is the team that we are putting out. Manelli back in goal. Visconti. Bax Vanos. Farah Bajoli. Pavlev, Fagioli, Mata in midfield, Stepovic, Sabri and Clark coming in on the right-hand side. Rovgalio still gets the nod up front. I think uh, I think you must be paying my um must be paying my uh assistant manager. I'm actually not, I, I'm going to overrule that because I just think Rovgalio has had it up front. He's not doing um and I'm going to put Pecorino up there. Um, and we'll do that. Put uh, Ruff Gallier on the bench. He needs, I mean, 6.66 in his last five games against 7.48. Um, I think that's got something to say. So theoretically, he could do a better job. Uh, let's see how we go on. Um, we are seven points adrift now at the bottom of the table. And um, the other thing is to mention um, is Lazio. Obviously, are gonna. Everybody's expecting that they are going to thump us. Um, 
Immobile as well in their team. Uh, mm. um, pump fists, no. Uh, hands on hips, nobody expects to get results. Just go out there um, playing without whatever. Ricardo Lanetti is suspended. How big are absence he be? Things happen. Uh, we got a squad. That's why we've got them. What are you doing to improve uh, of having the worst defence in Serie A? Um, it's all about confidence. If everything goes to plan, the results will follow. I think that is it. I think a lot of it is down to confidence. They won four of their last five. They're not lost in five. Playing the same formation as us. Uh, we've lost four of our last five. Only drawn one of the last five. And uh, as you'll see down the bottom here, 10 points, 6 points adrift of Torino, and then uh, 7 points adrift of the actual relegation. So it's um, it's not looking good. And we are underway. Lazio with a throw in, early doors. Mata with a clearance. Tried to get to Sabre, but he didn't get there. And they are already on us, and we're one behind. Four minutes into the game. And I don't know what to do to pick these guys up because um, it's just not happening for us, is it, at all? Wagyu and... We get rid of these balls from defence, but we've got nobody there that will pick these balls up. I, I'm not quite sure what it is or what we're doing wrong. And they're in again, but that one going wide. Minelli backs Van Os, backs Van Os, finds Mater to Farah Bajoli. Out to Clark. Clark now. <sighs> Pavlov had gone. Sabri. To Stepovic. Stepovic is in. And we'll get the goal back. Now, is this going to be our comeback, our 10 minutes into the game? Pavlev to Pecorino. Pecorino to Sabri. Sabri to Stepovic. Stepovic beats his man and plants it in off the post. We'll take that. Wagyu and it's blocked. Shot comes in again, but Manelli plucks that one. Long ball forward, not finding any of our players. And they're in here. Ooh, put that wide. Manelli to Baxvanos to Farabaja. Uh, Far Fagioli, backs Vanos, moving it around nicely at the back there, but it's gone back as far as right. Mater to Fagioli, Fagioli to Sabri, Sabri to Fagioli, finds Visconti, who's making his appearance. Doesn't get many much game time. Is there Sabri to Pecorino? Gently does it. Stepovic tries to head it forward. Couldn't do much more. That was a bit high for him, but uh, nobody there. And they come forward, which may be what the highlight was about all the way. And we're not going to block him off, are we? Come on. Oh. Immobile gets the goal. And we go two goals behind. Pavlev to Mater. Mater crosses it in. Nobody there. And Visconti picks it up, though. And he's giving it away. And that is really the story. We keep giving these games away. George is very good. And number three, Immobile again. Don't want to see it again. It's really making me fed up now. Um, immobile in fact let's tightly mark all these players here 
and we have scored while that was going on i've been doing the changes let's have a look at it now sorry about that should have done what i usually do and that's stop it pavlev gets in mater mater crosses the ball in and who puts that away was it stepovich again it was stepovich again he's got his second pavlev now with the throw into the box Let's come back out to Pavlev. Mater. Farah Bajoli. Crosses the ball in. It's headed in. Foul. Fagioli. Goal. Pulls a save out of the goalkeeper. This is a lot better, though. Ball into the box and. Free kick against us, I think. Right. Opposition instruction always press. Um, Correa. Did we not do that? Um, let's have a look. Correa. We did. Let's um, press him as well. Okay. So we ignore that because we did do that while they while we scored that second goal. Clark not having a good game on that right. They have a corner now. Oh, it's headed over the top. And half time comes, three two. So it's a bit better. We've scored two goals. Let's look on the positive. Take the positives from it. Seven shots, four on target. 0.99, 47 percent possession against their seventeen shots, seven of which have been on target. One point nine six, and they have fifty three percent of the possession. We're not out of this game uh, just yet. We'll be back for the second half. Well, unfortunately, we seem to have uh, got a small technical hitch when I uh, paused it for half time. It just seemed to throw a wobble and cut off. And uh, so instead of going on too much into the game um, and then finding out it wasn't recording, I thought it was just best to check. Um, so we have missed the, the kickoff to the second half. In fact, just wondering whether I can actually rewind it to that point in time. The only trouble is it's going to run for about two minutes. Um, maybe we won't do that. <laughs> um, not a lot has happened, uh, apart from one significant thing. Um, Lazio had a penalty, and what I will do is when I've actually uh, managed to uh, to get ourselves sorted in a moment, I will actually show you what actually happened um, to, uh, to concede the penalty. Um, but we're going to change to the, the other screen now. And uh, it's uh, just as Immobile is taking the penalty for Lazio. And as you'll see, uh, they have actually scored it. This is the replay. Immobile. Yep. With sound effects as well. Um, so there we go. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm able to at the moment. I'm not going to. We uh, The penalty was given anyway. It's uh, It's immaterial. So we're back two goals behind after clawing ourselves back into it. Um, Going to encourage the team, continue to encourage them. We are 15 minutes in. I'm looking to make some changes in the not too distant future. Clark not having a good game on that right hand side. I am tempted to take him off now, actually, before it's too late. Let's have a look and see who does it recommend Amaso? Really? Tempted to bring Basigla on. And see how he gets on in that position. And we will continue. Everybody buoyed up at the moment. And he's picked up a yellow card almost straight away, which is a bit uh, a bit annoying. Uh, really frustrated, aren't they? Um, all we can do is keep encouraging them. And that's had no effect this time. Always press. 
Visconti now picking up the yellow card. Frustration's creeping in. We have a... Oh, no, they have a corner. Um, as it comes in, it's headed back out to him. And they've scored a fifth. Well, just when we looked, we might have been turning a bit of a corner. It's all come back to haunt us. And we really are suffering here. Minelli not getting anywhere near it. And Stepovic now has... He's tied. So, Imaso coming on for him on that side. Pecorino... Not really doing a great deal. Do I make the third change yet or do we wait? And if so, who do we bring on? Because Rav Gallier hasn't been doing it. Now I seem to have a problem. We've locked up. Oh no, we haven't. Yes, we have. Computers playing silly beggars. Um, what's he got in the tank? Pecorino's an out and out striker. Have I got anybody right sided? I've got Ambrose and I've got Georgi. So, do we make that change? Pecorino. To there and then we'll change and bring Ambrose on or do I bring Rov Gallier on I think I'm doing myself an injustice there, but we'll we'll do it anyway. Get out there, and make a difference. We have a throw in. Visconti with the throw in to Fagioli. Back to Visconti. Backs Vanos. Visconti swings it forward. Pecorino. He's, this could be his last touch, and he uh, oh didn't quite get it away as he wanted, and uh, that change will now happen up front there. Who am I supposed to be changing this to here? Oh no. Marcus somebody or other. There we go. Marcus Antonio. Right, always pressing intensity. Let's do that and see if that quells the arduous. I don't think it is. Pavlov now picking up a yellow card as well. Meta is tired. And we've made all our changes. Really isn't left anything in the tank, has it? Um, we'll give them one final shout of encouragement. But it isn't going to do any good. It's all over. 5-2 loss in the end. Back to the drawing board. Um, I think we'll stick with this formation, though. I think it could bear dividends. It's just a case of the, the, the guys sticking with it. And um, uh, Stepovic had a good game, scoring his two goals. Um, very happy with your performance. Everybody else? Really, anything there of of light? Manelli, I just don't like Manelli, and I, I need to stick. I need to ignore my assistant manager, and I need to stick to my guns, and um, and really, really do away with him. I think. Um, why did you persist with Pavlov? It was clear, it wasn't. Um, 
options on the bench really and so we are now seven points adrift at the bottom there um, and six points adrift from our nearest rivals I think we are going down guys our dream of the Saria A is I think pretty much over and uh, we've done what we can do and we have the computer being stuck now which isn't very nice right did sort itself out in the end um by some miraculous uh, thing we'll send assistant to do the um the post-match conference so the dreary form continues um one nil loss against palmer and a five two loss against lazio in this one uh, we're coming back for inter and cagliari um in our next episode which should be out all being well on friday um, and we'll be coming back for that um, and then we're getting towards the business end of the season by which time um, that of course will take us past the uh, transfer window don't think we can do too much in the transfer window I really don't think there is anything that we can do that will uh, that will change our fortunes any what any what but um, uh, we're just stuck in this particular rut well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. Keeps you up to date with all the future episodes of this new series, uh, FM new, uh, 22 new series when uh, it happens. And of course, our sister series uh, to be a legend as they are released. And new episodes of Silly in Defence are hopefully back on schedule. This is Tuesday. Hopefully you'll get one again on Friday at 4.15. Um, and if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel, and more then you need to follow me on uh, twitter at just offside two is how you need to follow me thank you for watching i hope to see you on the next episode which we should be episode 36 and also should be out on friday until then goodbye <laughs>